Being on a trip in Bangkok would provide you the opportunity to explore a place that many tourists find to be quite alluring. Bangkok Nightlife or the Red Light District in Bangkok. Travel Authentic Asia will provide you a thorough insight of this mysterious but alluring entertainment location in this post, as well as some helpful advice and planning ideas for your trip to the Bangkok Red Light District. The Origin of Bangkok Red Light District Where is the Red Light District of Thailand? The Thai prostitution industry first emerged in the 1960s to provide American servicemen fighting in Vietnam with services. Bangkok's four red light districts, Patong, Nana Plaza, Soi Cowboy, and Kaosan, are just as well known for sex shows as Pattaya's Ghost City Red Light Districts. This is a popular location for adult entertainment, with countless brothels, clubs, and erotic shows. All of them are legitimately run by the government. Additionally, many foreign visitors to Thailand visit these locations. That is where Thailand's red light district got its start. The four most popular places of entertainment in Bangkok Red Light District. Patpong, the very first red light district in Bangkok, Thailand. The oldest Thai prostitution area in Bangkok is Patpong. Even though this place is only a short street, it boasts a ton of bars and clubs. Two areas make up Patpong. One is a well-known shopping district, and the other is a sexuality party area. There are numerous massage spas, pole dancing shows, and strippers in Patong. Additionally, the servers here speak a variety of languages, including Thai, English, Japanese, and Chinese. In Patpong, there is a popular scam where there is no entrance fee, and a bottle of beer only costs 120 to 200 baht if you order one. Even though you only had one bottle of beer, the total price might be up to THB 2000. If you protest about the price, it turns out that it will cost you 2000 baht to simply sit and watch the dance for 5 minutes. You should visit the well-known and respected pubs in Patpong if you want to spend a totally pleasant evening out without worrying about being taken advantage of financially. Here are some reliable bars in Patpong. Asterisk King Castle. This bar belongs to and is under the operation of King's Group. This is the biggest entertainment spot in Patpong. The beer here is about 120 baht. Asterisk Goldfingers. A medium-sized bar with a classic design. Beside, this bar has a nice view to Patpong area. Beer price here is about 150 baht. Asterisk Bada Ping the Go Go. A prominent bar in Bangkok, entrance is free all weekdays. In addition, the drink is extremely affordable. Just about 140 baht in average. Soy Cowboy. Top entertainment paradise in Bangkok Red Light District. After Patpong, the Soy Cowboy Red Light District was run. But Soy Cowboy quickly gained a reputation as Bangkok's top entertainment destination. Because of all the professional and legal services provided here, Soy Cowboy is safer than Patpong, based on past tourists' travel experiences in Thailand. The bars on the chain of adjacent red light streets are playing music which makes the streets even busier. Many attractive and seductive women approach you from in front of the bars, trying to get you to come over. Here, the bar girls are thought to be more attractive and seductive. Since it is only for foreign tourists, Soy Cowboy has its unique style as opposed to Pat Palm. Present your passport if you want to spend a sleepless night here. Typically, Soy Cowboy closes at 3 a.m. The females on the sidewalk will more confidently draw customers as the night wears on. If you attend a sex show, keep in mind that you should avoid sitting in the front row if you don't want to be asked on stage. Nana Plaza Nana Plaza is a building consisting of one ground floor and two upper floors. The outdoor bars on the ground floor are a little calmer, but they are still in harmony with the bustle on the roadside. In Nana Plaza, there are some types of bars that you could easily see. Asterisk Go Go Bar. The most popular type of bar with girls who dress sexy, striptease, and pole dancing. Asterisk Beer Bar. The normal bar just drinks some beer. There is nothing considered red light. Asterisk Gladdy Boy Bar. Like Go Go Bar, but the dancers are transgenders. There won't be an entry fee in bars. 
the bars are open to all sexes. In some circumstances, you could be required to present your identity card as confirmation that you are at least 18 years old and a foreign visitor. Beer and drinks cost between 110 and 200. Useful guide and tips to visit Bangkok Red Light District. Be aware of pickpockets. You must be careful when using the services offered in Thailand's red light districts. When their group of eight individuals only consumed eight bottles of beer in about five minutes, there used to be reports of international tourists being conned by patpong bars. However, it is very alarming that they were required to pay up to 6,800 baht, or 225 USD, for things like asterisk show tickets, 2,000 baht, asterisk service charge, 2,000 baht, asterisk deposit, 2,000 baht, asterisk beer, 800 baht. Always ask for the price before ordering at any bars in Bangkok Red Light District. This is a word of advice for anyone visiting the Red Light District in Thailand. Before choosing to enter a bar on the street, always carefully request the price list. Additionally, you should take note of the list of trustworthy bars above. The majority of scam reports concern the cost. When the final bill is presented, there is a different price from the initial quote. When guests are kept captive, they typically become irate, but still have to pay the bill and depart. No matter how hard you try to argue with them, your night is just ruined because you are in a foreign country. Do not take random photos without asking for permission. Many people will be drawn to the stunning and sexy girls who are positioned in front of the bars. Additionally, some visitors might have a habit of taking those unique photos. The next survival tip for traveling through Thailand's red light district, however, is to refrain from taking any impromptu photos without permission. One traveler described his unforgettable trip to Thailand. She came across these girls while strolling around Patpong Street and immediately pulled out her camera to snap a few pictures. You haven't tipped them yet. A fat tattooed man suddenly stopped her as she was walking away after taking the photos. The woman quickly recognized the issue and realized she would have to pay for the photos because she had read about these situations online. We thank you for watching and this concludes the video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to receive information on future videos. If you have any recommendations for upcoming videos, please post them in the comments area.